Hi parents and teachers, it's been a month of being indoors and learning for the children. Now most of you will, would have realized by now that Zoom is not really working for very young children. We are talking about the ages of three to six years. And learning through Zoom is actually quite a dangerous thing because it is resulting in a lot of high stress for the children, high stress, high anxiety for both children and for parents. In this video, I'm going to give you an insight into why this is happening and what we can do about it. Now, first of all, we have to understand three basic things about how children learn. Okay, so the first thing is that children are explorers. They need, they learn through exploring. They need, they need to touch, they need to uh, explore around them, discover things themselves, and that is how they naturally learn. And the second thing is that they are social learners, which means that they need interaction. They, they need their friends, they need other adults, they need different people around them to help them to learn. The third thing you need to know is children needs to move. They are not meant to sit for long hours, whether it's in the preschool or at home. And movement is very important for their overall development, physical and also the cognitive development. Now, with Zoom, what happens is that children are forced to sit. They're forced to sit and focus on a screen and watch their teacher teach, okay? They watch the teacher teach and are saying they're supposed to understand or they're supposed to learn what the teacher is trying to relay to them over Zoom. And parents are also seated by their side and telling them what to do and this does not make it any easier for them. And they cannot learn. They cannot learn this way because this is not how they naturally learn. Yeah, so they need movement, they need to explore and they also need the social interaction. And then what happens is worse. Parents see that their children are not learning or not getting what their teachers are trying to explain in Zoom. And then they try to reinforce or try to teach the child in their own way. And then children are not meant to learn that way. So they're not picking it up. And then parents start to feel helpless. They start to feel anxious. And to an extent, they also start to feel angry. Like, why is this not working? Yeah. And this affects, and when this happens, when all these emotions happen, then the child gets affected even more. See, they don't know what they're doing and they don't know that, you know, what they're doing is right or wrong. And they're trying to understand, but it's not like it's their fault because they're not, they, they're not meant to learn that way. So this spirals. And because of that, children, I mean, parents will feel that the children are not learning and they have that fear. Parents fear that, you know, my child will be left behind if my child doesn't learn this, this, this today that the teacher is teaching on Zoom. So what happens is parents start to push their own learning into the children and it all just becomes very disastrous. And the worst thing is it is dangerous emotionally for both the parents and the children. And this later may result in a lot of scars that will be very difficult to heal. So what can we do? Let's find some solutions to this issue. Now, Parents and teachers, first of all, need to understand that this lockdown is, a, is going to definitely slow down children's progress. Children are not going to be able to progress at the same rate that they are progress that they used to progress in school. And like I mentioned before, again, I, you know, repeat myself that they need to explore, they need to move, they need social interaction. And that's what they get in preschools. Now at home, it's very limited. So during this period, it's best not to emphasize on trying to teach your child some anything. Don't teach them anything new. There's no harm. Instead, this is the time when teachers come on Zoom. Instead of trying to teach a new concept, you know, what they can do, what teachers need to do actually is use this as an opportunity to connect with the children rather than teaching them anything new. They can tell a story. They can do show and tell. You can do dancing talking and children should then be given the opportunity to connect with their other friends in Zoom so they should be allowed to chat with each other and connect with them and you know in the Asian countries of course in Indonesia I'm speaking specifically with Indonesia we send worksheets home don't send worksheets home don't you know explain to the children that I'm sending you this worksheet this is what you need to do this is how you need to do worksheets itself is very abstract and 
children learn in a very concrete way yeah so it's going to be very difficult if you're going to try to teach children how to work on their worksheets through zoom that's even worse instead what you can do is teach them concepts like sink and float you know it's an activity that's easy for the parents to help you to assemble easy for the parents to understand what you want you know the children to learn don't focus on academics and teachers don't expect parents to know how to teach the children that is very very important because teachers are assuming that if we tell the children what to do parents should be able to help them parents will need to nurture and look after the children's emotions rather than you know sit and trying to teach them something that the teacher normally does it's it's just the time to just take it slow and easy with the children now teachers you can provide parents with ideas of activities to do at home instead this is where montessori practical life activities are so useful practical life activities of montessori teach children to become more independent more responsible more creative and it also helps develop their concentration fine motor skills etc now through these activities children will then develop a great sense or a good sense of self confidence which you really want them to have this is what you really need to protect their self confidence and also their emotional feelings now most important is that when you do these activities with children children will feel useful in the house children want to contribute they want to be useful they want you to um appreciate that they're helping you and this is very good for their emotional confidence that they need most at this point of time in life now teachers you can connect with children one on one as well that is a very good thing to do connect with them i know you're having a zoom session and you're connecting with all the children but it's also good to connect with the children one on one don't ask them when you connect with them have you completed this worksheet and what you know have you done this what i told you to do no that should not be the objective the objective here should be that you have to just chat with them and ask them how are you doing what did they like doing that day just a normal conversation to just maintain keep that connection okay now teachers you also can connect with parents the same way give parents the assurance that you know they're doing well with their children by just spending time and doing uh, basic things in the house with them um as long as both of them the parents and the child or and the children are happy yeah that is the the most important thing here and parents don't worry about your child's learning abc in 1 2 3 that is not important at the moment yes your child will fall behind a little bit but then again all the children are falling behind it's around the world it's happening so it's not just your child so once this is over your child will bounce back easily they will get back into learning they will you know pick up all that they have missed out on and this is only if you can preserve their sense of self confidence and their emotional well being if you can protect these then you know they they will bounce back easily make sense yeah Now remember children how they learn they learn through exploring they learn through socializing and they learn through with movement now knowing this here are just a few things that you can do with your children talk to your child your child will learn new words you know the more you speak read books uh, storytelling just keep communicating with your child your child will develop language that way they they will be learning a lot from you clean different areas of the house together when you clean fridge your fridge or your drawers or something there are a lot of opportunities there for them to learn mathematical concepts so just do things around the house you don't have to focus on the learning they will learn anyways and then learn a few practical life montessori activities so you can do with them you can ask your teacher about them you can look up online look up instagram The most important thing here is don't push your children to do anything at this point of time. Now they're already depressed and they're not able to meet their friends, they're not able to do the things that they normally love. They're already unhappy in a way, yeah? So understand their feelings and respect them. Ask them instead, how are you feeling and in the morning ask them what would you like to do today? We have another lockdown, there's nothing much we can do outside, so what shall we do inside together let your child also you know have some options give them more hugs 
play with them, tickle them, laugh more, cuddle, tell them how much you love them. That is very important for the emotional well-being. Yeah, create happy memories because very soon this lockdown will be over. Yes, of course, everybody will be happy, but these moments will be lost and everybody will get back to being very busy in life. Now, there is not much that you can do with a situation. The best is that to ensure at this point of time that you help each other to keep your spirits up. And parents and teachers, when you're anxious, you normally have someone to talk to. You can call up a friend, you can call up your parents perhaps or whatever and you talk them you talk with them and it makes you feel better now think about your child does your child have someone to talk to how are they feeling they must be feeling the same and how are they expressing it so let them be comfortable talking to you your children need both of you teachers and parents very important removing a ch child from school at this point of time is is not it's not the right time they need the support of the teachers as well and they need their friends as well even if it's you know seeing each other once a day over zoom at least that connection is still there now during these times you will see a lot of misbehavior in children this is only because they are highly stressed and they are anxious now in my next video i'm going to share with you why your child is misbehaving during this lockdown I hope this helped. Now feel free to share it with others if you have found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the, in the comment box below and I will be very happy to answer them for you. Bye for now and see you soon.